Welcome to the Beach Kids Express. We're gonna have so much fun today here at Beach Kids Online. Can everyone take out your pretend train horn and make a train horn noise with me? Are you ready? <gasps> that was great, friends, that was great. All month long, as we celebrate Christmas, we're gonna be on board the Christmas train. We're gonna discover why God loves us so much and the biggest gift ever he gave us his son, Jesus. I'm gonna ask you the question, how do you know God loves you? And you're gonna say, God gave us Jesus. Let's try that again. How do you know God loves you? God gave us Jesus. That's right, God gave us Jesus, the perfect person to come and rescue us from our sins. We're so excited this Christmas season to learn the story about how Jesus came to the earth for you and for me. Before we get into today's Bible story, we gotta worship God together. We're gonna stand up on our feet, we're gonna shake our booties, we're gonna dance, and we're gonna sing out these next praise songs to God. Ready to sing with me? Here we go. God loves us so much He sent us His Son I want to celebrate Because it's Christmas Day So I'm gonna sing, sing, sing And shout, shout, shout So excited, I just can't hide it now I'm gonna sing, sing, sing And dance all around I know Jesus is what Christmas is about Oh, I know Jesus is what Christmas is about Joy is everywhere When Christmas time is near Jesus, what Christmas is 
much fun. As our train pulls into the next station, it's time for us to learn our memory verse. So here's what I need you to do. We're all gonna toot the train horn right now. You ready? Great, your arm ready. Okay, let's pull it together. One, two, three. Toot, toot. That's great, friends. We're gonna open God's word today. So can you reach into your pocket and pull out the Bible? Ready? One, two, three. All right, on the count of three, when we open it up, I want you to say chug-a-lugga, chug-a-lugga. Can you do that with me? Here we go. One, two, three. Chug-a-lugga, chug-a-lugga. Oh, that was so fun, that was so fun. This month's birth is from the New Testament. Can everyone say New Testament? Good job, friends. Now let's flip to the back of our Bibles. That's where we find the New Testament. This Bible verse is in the book of John. Our friend John writes this. He says, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Can you do that with me? All right, let's try it together. Repeat after me. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. That's right, do you know what the son's name was? <gasps> it's Jesus, that's right friends. Let's repeat that together one more time, all together on the count of three. One, two, three. God loved the world so much that he gave us Jesus. That's right, his one and only son. All right, friends, is that my favorite time where we get to go to the clubhouse and we get to see our friend Ollie and all of his friends and we get to hear a true story from the Bible. This month, we're going to hear the story of Christmas and how Jesus came for all of us. Are y'all ready to go to the clubhouse? If you are, I need you to call Ollie with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Ollie! Ho, ho! Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me Oh, hi friends, I'm Luca. Check out our awesome train. My dad helped me make it, but I think we can make it even more fun with special decorations. Here we go. Ta-da! I think it's time for All Aboard. Oh wait. We don't know where we're going yet. Where should we go? This train is so fancy. We could drive to a sparkly big castle. Or we could go to a super fancy dinner. And it definitely seems like we should be driving to meet someone super important. Oh, I know. We can drive this fancy train to meet someone super important at a sparkly castle to eat a super fancy dinner. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Going somewhere important, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. My train is so cool. I want to drive it someplace awesome and fancy. That's a great idea. It's true. But places that aren't fancy can be important, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, <laughs> hello, friends. Merry almost Christmas to you. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, sorry, best train conducting assistant, Stormy Jane. And we want to know if you're ready to learn the next part of the true story of Christmas. <laughs> I think that means Stormy's ready. Well, the Christmas train is coming to help me tell today's true story from the Bible. If you're ready to board the Christmas Story train, on the count of three, say, all aboard. 
Ready? One, two, three. All aboard! The true story of Christmas begins with a young girl named Mary. God sent an angel with an important message for Mary. The angel said that Mary was going to have a baby, and that baby would be Jesus, God's son. Wow, God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus. Well, not long after that, Mary and Joseph had to travel a long way to the town of Bethlehem. Can you guess what animal Mary might have been riding? There's Joseph and Mary. Stormy Jane, you're not supposed to be in this story, silly dog. Back up, let's try that again. So there's Joseph and Mary. And what animal is Mary riding? Yes, a donkey, that's right. Can everyone say, hee-haw, hee-haw. Ready? Hee-haw, hee-haw. Very good. When Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay in quick. Jesus, God's son, was about to be born. Now tell me, is Jesus being born a little special or a big whole lot of special? Yes, Jesus being born is a big whole lot of special. So where did Mary and Joseph stay? Did they stay somewhere fancy like a giant castle? No. Or did they stay somewhere not fancy? like a stable full of animals. Yep, that's where they stayed. It wasn't fancy. <laughs> what was that? A chicken? Can you make a sound like a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> and that's not all. There were sheep. Can you make a sheep sound? Ba. <laughs> Ready? Ba. <laughs> Wait, everybody stop and listen. Shh, what's that sound? It's not a sheep. What is it? Yes, it's a baby. Baby Jesus was born. And Mary wrapped him up and she placed him in a manger full of straw. Jesus, God's son, had been born. God gave us Jesus. Oh, that's the whistle. It means it's time for the Christmas story train to leave. But it'll be back because there's more to the true story of Christmas. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus wasn't born somewhere fancy, but he's the most special gift for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow! Jesus wasn't born somewhere fancy, but Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. God loves us so much, he gave us Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I don't have to drive somewhere fancy for it to still be special. So, all aboard. See you next time. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. What an amazing part of the Christmas story. All the pieces come together and form one long train where we get to see the whole story this month. Christmas is all about celebrating Jesus, God's only son. And the way I like to spend time with Jesus is I like to talk to him. We call talking to God praying. I want you to pray with me wherever you are. You can pray with your hands up high, your hands down low. But when I'm here, I like to put my hands together so I don't get distracted, I don't try to grab any toys. I like to close my eyes so I can focus on God. And then I like to say the say words to him. They change every time I talk to him, but today we're gonna say something special. So close your eyes, bow your heads, and repeat after me. Say, dear God, thank you for your son, Jesus. Help me to see how much you love me during this Christmas season. 
We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, friends. That was so much fun worshiping God together and hearing a story from his word. We have some fun activities for you to do, so be sure to check them out, and we'll see you next time, friends. Goodbye.